I guess it depends on the song, obviously, but um, if you take my second album, Inkscape, is a, it's an album I wrote in a very critical moment of my life, very a transformative era. I split up at that moment, I changed my job, I decided to go into full, being an artist full time, so I had a lot of uh, changes. So there's some of this anxiety, and you know, I use the piano as mainly as a, a relief of my own anxiety in general. I don't feel stressed when I play, on the contrary, it helps me to to get through life and to every all the, the things I lived in that moment and nowadays it's sometimes it's for anxiety sometimes it's pure beauty uh, you know it, it really depends but uh, definitely the piano helps me to to get by that's for sure piano is uh, has always been this mirror of myself and and of what I'm feeling sometimes I play the piano I'm like oh I'm feeling that you know like it's like as if the music knows even better than I do sometimes how I feel so it's it's interesting It was kind of an on and off thing because I was writing for uh, films and advertisement. I was doing more studio work. You know, I was getting briefs from, from clients and I was talking to other musicians to, to reach like the, the, that result. But I, was, I wasn't expressing my voice, uh, my voice as much as I would have liked to. It took me about eight years to kind of get my stubbornness out of it and, and to go for it, you know, because uh, I think I was very scared of doing that. Not because of instability, but because of the amount of emotion that it would bring to my life to start sharing this music that was very intimate into the world and especially to play it live and to, to show it live in front of people and to live all of that kind of together you know I thought this emotion would, would be too much in my life uh, so I resisted a lot out of fear I would say fear of playing in front of people that's one thing but it was really the amount of stress that it would bring in my life it, it, that was always like a, a concern even when I was a classical student because I was classically trained um, I was like there's no way Way I'm doing I'm being a classical pianist because the amount of stress that you live in your life is just too it's too intense and and then I actually had a, a, a burnout a depression it was I had no more choice you know that's how I interpreted my, my body just kind of crashed I knew this was the only way I, that, that remained so that's my personal journey of like being a little stubborn and not listening to my own little voice that needed to to express express itself right and then I crashed and uh, when you crash you don't have a choice anymore you just have to be like okay what's what am I doing so wrong that my body doesn't move anymore and I can't move forward so it was actually a real gift in a, in a sense because I knew okay that's it that this is the way it was it was vital to me literally I think human beings, I, I, I think artists are often like a reflection of, of, of humans, of society as a whole. I mean, I think all of us, the things that scare us the most are probably the places where we need to go, oftentimes. Because I, I, I believe that that's how we evolve, that's how we move on, you know? They're, they're very, actually, they're very useful flags. Something that scares you is actually exactly where you should be looking at. I, I, I believe that. <laughs> Since that episode in my life, I was I was really forced to start putting in some little things that I could do to take care of myself. I was really bad at that. I think most people who do have a burnout are usually very bad at taking care of themselves. So I had to learn, and I did a bunch of things. Like I went to see like these energetic people, and 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 then I started doing acupuncture and osteopathy and meditation and yoga, and you know I tried so many so many things, and it, and now I'm less stressed just because I've been touring less and I'm because of the pandemic I'm more at home other stresses like the war and the <laughs> those those are like those are true for everyone you know and it's just about finding the things that are good for you trying things I think remaining open to, to different you know alternative medicines if you can afford it or or yoga or meditation helps a lot it's it's about stimulating your your parasympathetic system you know not the one that thinks the, the one that that is there when you're listening to calming music or you're taking a bath or just breathing and this is a system that we very much neglect in our in our life and when you're battling anxiety or or extreme anxiety in the case of a, of a burnout you have to learn and know like what what helps you basically so it's I think it's very um, particular to different people but for me I have to now I have to like I, I can't just go on touring and like drinking wine after the shows and uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna last very long if I do that so I, you kind of get, have to get a I'm not a very good at discipline I have to say but like I do my best <laughs> I 
I, I have uh, headphones that cut the sound and I put on some Brian Eno. Uh, and uh, he actually studied parasympathetic uh, music. So what triggers this part of our brain? So it works really well. And so I do that. I take baths, you know, some stuff like that. But I don't, I can't, I, I'm not good at like, oh, I have to go to bed at eight. Uh, I can't, I'm, I'm always jet lagged. I move a lot, so <laughs> that's very hard, but it would definitely be helpful. I'm sure it would. <laughs> for me, like the, this, for this purpose, I mean, there are some nice apps nowadays where you can uh, you can do a whole bunch of things, uh, you know, ASMR, and uh, I'm sure those are great too. But for me, is Brian, you know, it's my he's my guy. It works super well, so I don't need to look much further because the purpose that it has on me is works fantastically well. No, I mean, it's a story, you know, once you compose some songs and you have them in front of you, then you build it into a story. Inscape is also a story. It's it's not all about mental health struggles. Burnout Fugue is definitely one that is uh, salvaging a little bit in the energy, you know, like, you know, there's, there's this kind of like good anger that you need to get out sometimes in that song. It's, it's a great show to play live too. And then I guess, you know, I have some songs, very calming songs like Ellipse or Changing Winds that are very calm, very, you know, it's kind of a meditation. It's something that just like turns and flows and I worry when I write and I'm trying not to worry too much about that but I, I do want people to have a nice listening uh, experience as a whole to try to bring a little softness and beauty and simplicity I think the world needs that a lot <laughs> Well, for me, it was really about this period also in my mid-30s because of the burnout, because of just this episode of depression. It was fairly new to me. I mean, I, to have a real issue, you know, I, I, I struggled with anxiety uh, a little bit. For the most of my 20s, I was very closed off. I was very good at just shutting down the feelings. And I think as I grew older, uh, it became impossible to do that. And that's when really, uh, you know, so I, some side of me starting to, to not function as well in society I, I you know I I had a period where I didn't I was nervous to go see my best friend in a bar that didn't last very long though it's just like I had panic attacks you know a few panic attacks and I think it's out of necessity that we have to we have we eventually figure out what what's good for us but I think everybody needs it like all of us would be better off you know trying to speak to someone uh, at least giving a zone where we're expressing our feelings whether it's in your relationship with your friends with your parents with a therapist you know but just to make room for that because I think we're very good at shutting down and we sometimes we have to sometimes you need to just you know turn a blind eye and, and move forward it's fine but life brings you you know grief lots of things that if you just bottle up they're gonna eventually come back and bursting out you know it's about listening and um, and finding ways to to take care of ourselves and 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 that side of ourselves you know but I think it's quite quite frequent to kind of of forget to tune in to what's going on in the heart and uh, and yeah and it's also beautiful it's a way of knowing yourself as you grow older and it's a way of being closer to your to your partners and to your friends and to your family because you when you are when you're in tune with yourself you show yourself to others and then that's when you get real uh, you know rich relationships sometimes you need to shut down some things sometimes things are too traumatic yeah you, you need to put them away you know but I, I do think that what you can cope with you can open your heart I mean it's the journey is opening your heart with all the suffering that life brings and the and the anxiety that comes with it because life is uh, life is hard I don't know about your life I know I've lived in a lot of privilege and I'm always extremely aware when I say this that I don't I have not been dealt the same deck of cards than most people but but ultimately um, I think it you know it comes to having rich human connections you know whatever you're living and um, and music definitely has the power to do that for me as someone who creates the music it's I'm gonna have a little bit of a different approach because I I, I need to play f to feel better if I don't play I, I, I start feeling uh, uneasy a little bit but the, the message that I receive because I receive quite a lot of message from people who are who are wanting to share what it does to them to hear uh, my music I think it touches them in very profound places uh, and they, they feel as though I understand that part I think that's that's uh, really wonderful that we we 
manage to connect in our humanities through art. And I think music especially is, is speaks of uh, things that we don't even have words for. You know, it, it goes way beyond words. It, it is useful to feel connected again. And, and I think it's useful to make you think also. Some people create to make people reflect on a subject or want to provoke to make people think and for society to advance. You know, that's another form of art that is, that is useful as well. But, but in my case, I think it's, uh, it's people, I mean, I have a lot of people writing to me that their parent died on my music or something like that in calm and in peace and they're thanking me for that. And I certainly didn't do that. I, I, the, the, on, the only thing is that I provided a space through my art in which they felt at ease, you know? And that's a lot, that's very, that's very powerful. And ultimately you're sharing yourself with the world, you know, you, you, we're, I think it's good that people share their vulnerabilities. I think we, we find out that we're less alone when people f share their ugliness and their vulnerabilities and, and the beauty of and, and you know and all of that and I think that's what music is I think it's uh, is sharing and uh, I would say that it, for one if you're the person who creates it it's a wonderful means of development a place where you can express yourself and it's super healthy for for you and then as a person who's listening I would say that it's just it's just a way to be connected to, to each other and also to something that's way beyond us you know I, I don't feel that my music is my own little creation like I feel that it, I'm borrowing it or feeling it out of something else and just putting it back in the piano and, and sharing it, you know, I, I do believe it's much larger than, than me. Yeah, I think I would say to remain connected to your heart as much as you can and um, and to take care of yourself, to cultivate your sense of self, because, but that's very personal in my life. I'm uh, very good at feeling others and not so much feeling myself. I need the piano for that. So I think I would say, yeah, to be gentle, to be kind and, um, and to try to cultivate that area of self-care that you can. Mm -hmm.